Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Do you know what makes these stories, like, way more fun? Yeah, sharing them with a friend. So right now, I want you to think of two friends that your parents can text this episode to, and then you guys can listen to it at the same time. That would be super fun. Well, are you guys ready for part two of Jules and Oliver, the Hercules Beetle Adventure? Are they going to be able to save all their babies in time? I hope so. Let's go. Crash. The sound of the tree hitting the ground echoed throughout the forest. Jules, Jules, are you okay? shouted Oliver. Oliver was racing down from the tree. Remember, he was on the tree as it fell and because he was saving all of those larvae that were inside of the tree. But Jules, she was down on the ground, completely now covered in branches and leaves. Oliver, I'm down here. Help! shouted Jules. I'm coming. Oliver the Hercules beetle was ready to use his muscles. Hercules beetles, remember, are very, very strong. They can push something 80 times heavier than them. It's kind of hard to imagine how much bigger 80 times bigger something is, right? Well, do you know something that is about 80 times bigger than how much you weigh? A big car. Yeah, like a big SUV car. Can you imagine pushing something that big holy smokes that would wow i don't know if even i could do that but hercules beetles that's how strong they are they could push something like you pushing a car that's how strong they are so as oliver raced down on the ground he saw all the branches that were now completely surrounding jewels another really cool thing remember about hercules beetles is that they have that very big horn at the front of their head and that is is almost like a tool that oliver is now using to scoop all the branches and leaves and push them out of the way look at him go oliver was so focused on helping jules get safe finally he found the last branch and picked it up and jules was able to crawl out just in time oh thank you oliver said jules That was some really heavy stuff under there. Couldn't have done it without you. Were you able to save all of our baby larvae out of the tree? Said Jules. Well, I got most of them out. They're over there, safe, but there's still two more inside of the tree. What? There's two more still there? That tree is hanging over the cliff above that river. It looks like it could fall any second. Hurry, Oliver. Oliver ran up on the tree, and using his very special feet, he held on to the tree because he had to climb underneath the tree as it was dangling over the cliff. Holy smokes, Oliver is a brave bug. I don't know if I could do that. I don't like hanging over a cliff over a big river. As Oliver climbed out over the tree, he got closer and closer to the holes that were marking the spots where those baby larvae were. Remember, those larvae are baby beetles. They're going to grow up into Hercules beetles one day, but it takes a long time for them to get there. They have to eat a lot of wood. And that's why these larvae are deep inside the tree. But somehow, the tree got very weak, and that's why it fell over. So they need to find a new tree to live in uh, because this one is about to fall into a giant cliff. (gasps) Hurry, Oliver. Oliver reached the spot and used his horn as a tool to grab and reach deep inside of that hole because those larvae were huddled back inside. They were very scared. Come on, guys. Grab onto my horn. Let's go. The two larvae grabbed onto their dad's horn and he was able to pull them out of the tree. Hurry, we gotta go. The tree is about to fall. Remember, the tree had fallen, but it was hanging on by a few roots still in the ground as it was dangling over the cliff. He could hear those roots popping and cracking with every step he took. Hurry, Oliver, jump. The tree's going down. 
shouted Jules, as Oliver jumped with all of his might, holding on to both of the larvae, the tree crashed down the cliff and splashed in the river below. Oliver, are you okay? Jules ran over as fast as she could. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was crazy, said Oliver. But look what I have here. As he turned and showed the two larvae in his arms, Jules was so happy. All of our babies are saved! Oh, now we gotta find a new home, said Jules. Oh, that's gonna be okay, said Oliver. We'll find a new home. The most important part is that we have all of our baby larvae. One, two, three, four. There were nine of these baby larvae that they had to take care of. Uh, Oliver, I think our next home can it not be a treehouse. Do you think we could just uh, maybe make a home underneath a log so that it doesn't fall off a cliff again? She shouted. <laughs> I think you're right, honey. I think our next home, let's find a nice soft log on the ground. The rest of the day, Jules and Oliver spent walking around looking for the perfect log, a log that would not roll off of a cliff. And there it was. It was beautiful and full of delicious wood for their baby larvae to eat. They had to dig a few new holes for their larvae to crawl inside. That night, they all slept very well in their brand new log home. The End Great job. You listened all the way to the end of the story. And do you guys know what a Hercules beetle looks like? All right. Right now, if you haven't seen a picture of one, I need you to ask your parents to find a picture on their phone of a Hercules beetle. They're a pretty amazing bug. And you just have to see it for yourself. Well, my friends, I hope you have a super duper day. And the next time you see see a beetle, think of our friends, Oliver and Jules. The end.